Authorities on one of Spain's Canary Islands declared a volcanic eruption that started in September officially finished on Christmas Day following 10 days of inactivity. But the emergency in La Palma the most northwest island in the Atlantic Ocean archipelago is not over due to the widespread damage the eruption caused, the director of the Canaries Volcanic Emergency Committee said in announcing the much-anticipated milestone. It's not joy or satisfaction, how we can define what we feel. It's emotional relief and hope, Pavalka director Julio Pires said. Because now, we can apply ourselves and focus completely on the reconstruction work. Fiery molten rock flowing down toward the sea destroyed around 3,000 buildings, entombed banana plantations and vineyards, ruined irrigation systems, and cut off roads. But no injuries or deaths were directly linked to the eruption. Pires, who is also the region's Minister of Public Administration, Justice and Security, said the archipelago's government valued the loss of buildings and infrastructure at more than 900 million euros. Volcanologists said they needed to certify that three key variables gas, lava, and tremors had subsided in the Cumberviedge Ridge for 10 days in order to declare the volcano's apparent exhaustion. Since the eruption started on September 19, previous periods of reduced activity were followed by reignitions. On the eve of December 14, the volcano fell silent after flaring for 85 days and 8 hours, making it La Palma's longest eruption on record. Spanish Prime Minister Pedro Sánchez called the eruptions and the best Christmas present. We will continue working together, all institutions, to relaunch the marvelous island of La Palma and repair the damage, he tweeted. Farming and tourism are the main industries on the Canary Islands, a popular destination for many European vacationers due to their mild climate. The activity of the volcano on the Canary Island of La Palma stopped completely on Tuesday, nearly three months after it first began to erupt. It is not emitting lava, nor sulfur dioxide, nor is it registering any tremors or seismic activity, sources from the National Geographic Institute IGN, confirmed. The same sources consider it improbable that it will restart its activity, but are not ruling that possibility out for now. For this reason, Sources from the team of experts monitoring the phenomenon, the Volcano Risk Prevention Plan, Pivalka, are opting to wait several days before certifying its definitive demise. Miguel Angel Morcundi, the technical director of Pivalka, had already announced during a press conference on Tuesday that the volcanic activity had fallen to the point that it had practically disappeared, albeit describing the situation as an impasse. Is this the end? The scientists are being prudent before speaking about any conclusion to the eruption.